All right, we're going to finish things all, all off now, all the loose, loose details. We're going to um, fit the support, so a little dab of glue. Else the feet might come off, we need three of these. So we'll just fit it nicely. And this slides on from the back, like that, and then we a 12mm screw which is provided, and you don't over tighten this, it's just threading into plastic, so, okay, and the other side. Very good. Alright, we're about to finish off what we're doing beneath. There should be a little sticker just to cover the magnet. Now, this isn't entirely necessary, but it's to protect the magnet from um, possibly being wrenched out by um, very strong Velcro that might be used in the future. Um, if that occurs, then uh, hopefully the sticker comes off rather than the magnet. I'll cover the magnet up with that sticker. Let's carry on with the badges. So we a little dab of super glue in the middle there. Um, although these decals are adhesive, um, they just need a little bit of help sticking. And obviously, get the badge the right way up. Press for a few seconds. Okay, right, now the last thing is the lower grips, now you we need to cut these, you can do it with a standing nice knife, but I've got a uh, um, guillotine here, and there's some dimples on this, and you want to cut just the last two, two dimples, no more. But, So it looks like that. Okay. Um, now this is silicon. Silicon is quite tricky to glue, so you want to use a, a good quality silicon. Um, uh, multi-purpose silicon, the sort of stuff that tell, tends to sm smell of vinegar. Uh, don't use the water-soluble variety, it has to be good quality. And spread that out a little bit, alternatively you could, which might be easier to put it actually in the, the grips. Slide one on from one side, one on from the other side until they meet neatly in the middle. Now this adhesive is quite slow so you might you'll need to leave it probably 24 hours to completely set. Um, well, the last thing to deal with is the Arduino. So the Arduino is going to sit in this case here. Um, this is a lid and this is the case so it's quite tight fitting. Um, and it will go in like that. Notice you put it in without the USB lead. Um, there's going to be some slack cable, and there's no grommet in this end. Um, so we need to ensure that it's glued in position. So a little bit of glue in the bottom. That will be, oops, that'll be fine for a second. And we're going to put a little bit of glue here which is what's going to hold the cable and then the USB lead and it has to be the, just the right type 
um, gets inserted through the case it does it won't fit that way it has to be inserted and it's actually it's quite a nice fit and it's actually the lead that's going to hold the um, the cable in place um, sorry the, the lead the USB lead is going to hold the Arduino steady which takes any strain off the connector and then that generous four dabs of super glue there and a run of super glue there and we've already got our glue on there that's going to hold the cable and the whole assembly presses together like that and we'll have to hold that just for a few seconds and then finally put the main bad on and this one's for Super glue, and that completes the, the build of your dangle joystick. Hope you enjoyed that. Oops, there you go.